Necromantic cult of the way prefer to operate in secret. Far from the eyes of dense urban regions, where their abhorrent practices would draw the attention of any sensible person who opposed their agenda. Yet for all their caution, it was only a matter of time before they would draw the attention of enemies. So it was with Duncan Cade, a nobleman from a foreign land, in possession of a sentient black blade. The sword itself had an adversarial history with the Cult of the Way, and guided Cade to hunt the evil mages alongside a fellow adventuring group. The relentless pursuit of Dr. Vall, the leader of the Way, took Duncan from Lepidstad to the fields of Felgrau. This forsaken place, with its swampy grounds and crumbling structures, was perfect for a potential ambush as the cult sought to shake the party from their trail. The ruined structures and gnarled trees cast long shadows, and as Duncan rode among the decrepit stones, he could sense the malevolent presence of his quarry. As the adventurers approached, they could hear the sinister chants and see the flickering lights of dark rituals within the central dilapidated tower. Without hesitation, the battle was joined, and Duncan's black blade cut through the chaos, each strike a testament to his prowess. Yet, amidst the chaos, one necromancer stepped forth and began a blasphemous incantation. Uttering the words of a circle of death spell, a wave of necrotic energy surged through Duncan, draining the very life from his body. In the aftermath, Duncan's companion stood in somber silence. Spirits tired and weary, they paid their respects and departed quickly before the trail to the next gathering of the Waste Cultists could go cold. Their mission was far from over. Duncan's body was left unburied in the fields of Felgrau, one body among many in the wreckage of the battle. His deeds and sacrifice would go unremembered by the wider world, and his story would only be known by those who had fought along his side.